Welcome back to Paint With Me, episode two. Now in this episode, we're gonna be focusing on a flower called the camellia flower. Camellia flower is in season. It's beautiful and it looks like a rose. It can be confused with a rose or a peony. But first I wanted to stop inside of a cafe, do a little bit of work and to get some people within the cafe to try to paint this flower. Now this flower, the symbol is love, adoration, and longing. So I thought it would be perfect to paint during uh, the month of February. I'm using a travel watercolor kit from a brand called Viviva. I'll be mentioning a little bit more about this brand throughout the video. But first, I'm going to start off by painting the flower myself. And I'm just going to do an outline, a light outline of the flower. And then I'm going to let the first painter uh, pick up where I left off and use their imagination to finish this beautiful flower. Now, the camellia flower has um, more benefits from the leaf and we're gonna be getting in that within this video. So let's start with our first painter. Okay, so what's your name? My name is Jonathan. Jonathan. Yeah, okay, yeah. and have you ever painted using watercolors? I not. No. Okay. Not first, time. first time. First yep. time ever. Okay. Yeah. So watercolor is like I said, it's a it's a way to relax, mm -hmm. ease your anxiety. Yeah. Um, this is a travel watercolor sketchbook in a palette. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna take that pen okay. and you just squeeze it a little bit to let the water out, and then you just drop it into the color. So you mm -hmm. can like, even though this is pink, you can paint it blue. You can paint mm -hmm. it. So Jonathan said he's never used watercolors before and he decided to just go from what I've already created and start to paint the leaves. But I love the way he just added his very delicate, beautiful touches to this flower. <laughs> this is so relaxing though. I love, I love this. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. Um, so it, does this notebook have a lot more paintings from different people? Yeah, it does. I'll let you see. Snick, yeah, mm -hmm. I do. Yeah, because I've been painting pretty much my whole life. And then I've had a, a YouTube channel with showing people how to paint for years. Really? Mm -hmm. So I was like, this would be cool to allow other people... Other people to, to, to participate. To experience it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the YouTube channel called? And then all of the flowers that people are painting um, have medicinal benefits. Mm -hmm. So the camellia mm. um, is great, like used in a tea, like mm -hmm. the, the flower petals. It has anti-cancer properties. Really? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been known to help people with heart disease. So, uh, yeah. This is really nice. Well. You think you? I think I've uh, think kind of enough? hit 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 my okay. uh, my ceiling. Um, I like how it's how it's turning out. It's I think too. Out. Yeah. I did too. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Well, how I'm gonna ask you how <laughs> did you feel with it? Even though you just painted for a few seconds, like um, it feels good. It feels relaxing. Okay. I felt very focused, which I like. And, yeah. Um, it's often very hard to turn off your mind and like focus on one single thing. Right. Um, and I'm able to do it when I'm, when I'm You're painting. Because I want to get that color right, that angle right. So right. I can turn off the distractions, which is really good. Awesome. Good. Um, and, uh, it's also good to like, you know, see the result, results of your work. I'm kind of attached to this flower now. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. I like that you're kind of attached to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You created it. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, thank, thank you, you for giving me the opportunity. Thank you. I'm not an actress either. <laughs> okay, so we're we're about to let you paint. What's your name? Jasmine. Jasmine. We're gonna let Jasmine paint. Um, she's never used watercolors before. No. No. Probably when she was little and I mean, remember. Yeah. Yeah. Kid, like kindergarten. Okay. Well, elementary. Water brush. Okay. You can take the top off. It's convenient because all you have to do is just squeeze it mm -hmm. and the water comes out. Mm -hmm. And then this is oh, a cool, cool. cool um, paint palette. So it's mess free. Got it. Cute. So um, you can either add on to this one or you can start creating a new one. It's no right or wrong way to do it. Don't judge yourself. I'm not judging you. 
Got it. So just paint the flower? Mm hmm So just start painting the flower. And if you wanted to make it like darker, you just put on more pigment, more uh, color. If you want to make it lighter, you just squeeze more water. All right, I love that Jasmine just went for it. She used a lot of the color more than the water. I really love that. And um, I was noticing how beautiful her skin was. And let's talk about skin as it relates to the camellia flower. So the camellia flower has the green leaf that you see and the leaf extract can be used as an oil that protects against ultraviolet radiation. So a lot of people use it in like anti-cellulite, um, anti-cellulite products. And it also helps with rough dry skin and even dandruff. Okay, that's, that's so that's your flower. <laughs> Yeah. Look at this. I love it. I love it. I love that. No, I'm you an artist. To, now you're an artist. You are an artist. Everybody's an artist. Okay, so do you mind me asking you how you felt while you were painting? I felt like I was going to make something really beautiful. Okay, and you did. And I love it. I'm and glad you, know. you love it. Um, did you feel like you were relaxed or, you know, like, do you think you, that you could, like, do this as like as a practice like yeah i mean i could totally paint you know definitely it helps to look at another picture i prefer to look at like a photo okay to, like recreate something but but you had the reference like right a, in front yeah the like real flower you know yeah thing to do. okay okay thank you so much thank you yeah okay so what's your name i'm philly philly and have you ever painted using watercolors no i'm not no, no. ever never okay so this is an easy way to paint. I'm going to get you to get this to brush. Okay. And then this is a watercolor um, paint palette. Okay. So I like to use it like when I'm traveling or even when I'm in a cafe. It's just like a great way to relax. Okay. Maybe, especially if you have anxiety, like watercolors is the best way to like zone out. That sounds really fun. Mm -hmm. um, this is a camellia flower. Okay. And I'm just going to talk to you about like the benefits of a camellia flower as you're painting it. Okay. It's no right or wrong way to paint it. You just like, you just go for it. Okay. You let yourself use your imagination. Yeah, no pressure. And you'll be, <laughs> no pressure. And you'll be surprised at what you can create. Okay. Okay. You ready? So like so? Uh-huh. Exactly. I do not know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's all right. It's, ex it's an exploration. There you go. All right. So, and then, ooh, that's kind of. Um, it's very vibrant. Okay. So, um, if you want it to be lighter, you just press more water and then it'll start becoming lighter. Oh, I see. There you go. Mm -hmm. there you go. Mm -hmm. Are you from Oakland? No, I'm originally from Uganda. Okay. Yeah. Well, Uganda and Rwanda. So, one of the things that I'm really enjoying about this series is that, is that it always brings back some sort of memory from everyone's childhood you know people will say like I painted with watercolors when I was a child or even like Philly she speaks about growing up in Uganda and how her grandmother had natural herbs and grew flowers and uh, vegetables and things that she used as food but it was also healing that food is healing right so I really like that this series is bringing back those memories and when I talk about the the concept of inner discovery, uh, which is how I started doing this series in the first place, is I went on a journey of discovering um, or tracing my family's tree and bringing up memories and and uh, stories within my family. It's a way watercolors is a method of discovering more about you and more about lineage and more about family and history. So. Um, listen to Philly as she talks about her grandmother and all of the things that her grandmother grew and, you know, how they used it when she was a child. Yeah. That's true. My grandma was very uh, into, um, you know, um, what do they call it? Hapo medicines. Mm -hmm. uh, growing up, well, yeah. 
Okay. So growing up, she had like a lot of like things that she used to grow in her compound. Uh, we had aloe vera before it became popular. Mm. Uh, there was another tree. I don't know what it's called in English. I even forgot the natural like the local name for it. But she did have like a lot of like you know plants mm. which had like um, health benefits. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty. You know, pretty cool. I. I'm sad that I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the plants you anymore. Say, yeah. Is your grandma kind of fading? Yeah, she is. Maybe you should she ask is. her. Yeah, I will. The Get only the problem is it's kind of hard to like. Um, it's hard to um, know what they're called in English and to seek them out here. Oh yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah, because it's like a con. Like every, I feel like every place has a common name for it. Yes, exactly. Because my. Um, my great grandma, before she passed, I got a video of her talking about the, the, the medicine and the stuff she used to she used to take. Yeah. And she, you know, she just had names, and I would try to Google the names. And, oh, yeah, exactly. So. And we like speak a totally different language out there. Yeah. In, uh, from the region where my grandma is from. So like, even if I asked her, I wouldn't be able. To. You know what? Look, my red tongue, like this kind of looks mm -hmm. almost, like you know, type. Ooh, we also had loofah sponges. Really? Yes. I love that. So we had loofah sponges, like, whenever we would go to the village, like, we didn't have to buy them from the market. We would just, like, she would always have them ready for us yeah. when we go to she visit. Yeah, she grew them. Yeah, she grew them in her, in her compound. Oh. This is pretty fun. I and enjoy painting really with you girls today. This oh. is so fun. <laughs> Like I do know, like I know I'm not like exactly an artist, but this is pretty fun and therapeutic. Getting like something artsy to do, and yeah, I see what you're talking about it being therapeutic. I like this. Mm -hmm. It's very, 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 very relaxing. Like yeah. you did it quick, and she's taking her time. Fast, <laughs> fast. <laughs> Dude, I should have done that, huh? You do art too. <laughs> Stop, don't hype me up. Don't hype me up. We already talked about how you felt within the, while you were painting it, but yeah. what's your, excuse me, what's your final feelings it, about it? It feels really good. It feels really therapeutic and it like takes your mind off any like just kind of like art in the moment. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it feels really nice. Good. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for participating. Well, thank you. Thank you for doing this. This is fun. Now, I hope you all enjoyed episode two of Paint With Me. I really loved going to this cafe, Sweet July. If you're ever in Oakland, please check them out. It's very cute, quaint, and cozy. Um, it was a joy just to see the smiles and the, the spark of inspiration that I saw on each painter's face. Like I said, camellia flowers have a lot of medicinal benefits, so definitely look into it. I want to inspire you or just inspire us to be more inquisitive about the flowers that are around us that can help to heal us. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe. This helps me um, to continue to grow this channel and to create more, more inspirational painting videos for you all. Have a beautiful day and let me know what you think about this, these flowers in the comments. Peace.